Hello everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude, and I am here to review the episode Krusty Towers, requested by Marebear62990. By the way, you guys, please check out her channel. She has an awesome channel. She's done some SpongeBob reviews, and she just makes a lot of good content on her channel. Link to her channel will be down below. Krusty Towers is Mr. Krabs turning the Krusty Krab into this gigantic hotel. That's all I'm going to give you for the plot, to be honest. But this episode, I'm just going to say it, this is one of my favorite episodes of Spongebob. It's one of the best episodes Season 4 has to deliver. I just love every single damn moment in this episode. It is awesome. It's a simple premise. And you know me with simple premises in Spongebob. I just love them. I crave the simpleness. I love it. And that's why I love this episode. It was just simple, but it was just handled so well. And I love the premise of the Krusty Krab being a hotel. And it was just really enjoyable. And the first half with Mr. Krabs giving Square a hard time was very hilarious. Mr. Krabs being a jerk in this episode was actually hilarious in my opinion. And then the second half, Squidward gets back at Mr. Krabs for what he deserved. That was clever for the writers to do that. I did not see that coming the, when I saw his episode. Mr. Krabs was treating Squidward bad, but then, you know, something happens. And then Squidward gets right back at Mr. Krabs and gives him what he deserved. I loved how the episode just played that. The storyline to this episode is very well written. As I said, I laughed a lot. The humor in this episode is just handled perfectly. Patrick in this episode was hilarious too. <laughs> and uh, Spongebob, he was very funny as well. Every, all, all of the characters that were in this episode, they all had their memorable, hilarious moments. There were no problems with any of the characters in this episode. They were actually handled perfectly. They were all hilarious. They were all what they needed to be exactly how the characters needed to be, and it was just handled so well. Love the whole hotel premise. The ending, of course, that was very funny as well. And actually, there were no misses as I was actually laughing in this episode. Every humor seemed to be a hit for me. Yes, even that disgusting moment with the toenail and the Krabby Patty and... Yeah, you probably know what scene I'm going to try to talk about, but that scene actually made me laugh as well. So I love every moment of Krusty Towers, one of the best episodes of season four, in my opinion. Perfect, hilarious, original, awesome, 10 out of 10. Do I really need to say more? Now I'm here to review Mrs. Puff, you're fired. Okay, so do I really have to say what the plot of this episode is about? <laughs> oh well, if you insist. So SpongeBob fails a whole bunch of times at boating school. <gasps> I am shocked. So then Mr. Fitz comes over and he was going to test on Mrs. Puff on how she teaches SpongeBob. If Spongebob fails his boating test, then Mrs. Puff was going to get fired. But then guess what happens? Spongebob fails his boating test, so Mrs. Puff 
gets fired. Oh my gosh, that is the most shocking thing I've ever seen. No way, it's not shocking because that's the damn title of this episode. And so, you know what happens? We get a new Boeing instructor for Spongebob, but everyone's intimidated by him. So basically, Spongebob is the only character that's, stu that's stuck around with this new Boeing instructor. I'm just going to leave it at that. And so, Mrs. Puff, you're fired. I love this episode. Really love this episode. Although, even though I love this episode and I love Krusty Towers, I think I love Krusty Towers just a bit more only because I had no problems with that. Mrs. Puff, you're fired. I had a nitpick. Nitpick is when I have a teeny tiny problem, but it has nothing to affect with my score. And so, my only nitpick with Mrs. Puff, you're fired, is just really Mrs. Puff, and how, of course, she's happy to not see Spongebob anymore. Uh, but that's really it. Plus, she's barely in this episode, really, so... That doesn't make it a problem, and there's no reason for me to take points off because of that. <laughs> okay, and then we go into this new boy instructor. How was he in this episode? I thought he was an enjoyable character. I enjoyed his routines to teach Spongebob how to be this great boating driver, and Spongebob was actually starting to improve in his boating skills, and it was just hilarious. It was really enjoyable. I laughed almost all the way through this episode. There are a few misses. I really laughed so hard. It was just hilarious. Also, one of the most hilarious moments in this episode, by far, Patrick's cameo. Like, that scene. Oh my gosh. Oh man. <laughs> The storyline to this episode is just very well done. The execution is actually executed very well. The premise was really creative. It's quite simple too, but as I said about simple plots in Spongebob in the past, it's really enjoyable to watch. And the simpleness in this episode is awesome. It's really cool. And then of course the last few minutes of the episode was Spongebob driving around town and, well, yeah. It was really cool and it was very funny. A fantastic episode. Really loved it. I'm going to give Mrs. Puff, You're Fired, a 10 out of 10. Subscribe to my channel. Comment to give me your thoughts on the SpongeBob episode. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Like and share this video. I will always have... TAGA POWER!